everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Nikki. And I'm Rachel, and we are the Stitch Sisters. Our channel is where we share our obsession about all things sewing. Tutorials, pattern reviews, fabric, fabric and <laughs> lots more. Um, this video is all about some very exciting news that we've got to share with you, uh, in that we are releasing a new Stitch Sisters blog. Woohoo! But even more exciting, the first post on our blog is where we're going to be sharing with you a tutorial, <gasps> yeah. a free tutorial for how you can make these lovely caftans that we're wearing. They are fabulous. They but are before fabulous. we tell you any more, we want you to make sure that you subscribe, that you click the little bell so you get all the notifications of our new videos and give us a little thumbs up and a comment underneath. We'd love to hear what you think of our videos and anything you want us to share with you. Yes. So tell us about the blog. Well, you might be wondering, you've already got a vlog. Yes. Why do we need a blog? Mm. And why do we need a blog? Why do we need it? Well, for a, for a long time, we didn't realise we did, to be completely honest. We and, didn't even um, realise we needed a vlog to no, we did it. No. <laughs> but um, the, the vlog is great. It allows us to actually film tutorials and mm -hmm. share them with you um, and, and talk to you and as talk well. to you directly. Mm -hmm. um, and that's still going to be our preferred way of communicating. But the thing is, is that a blog would give us more scope to be able to write full tutorials, share more pictures, yes, and something that you can actually sort of instead of pausing and rewinding and trying to find that bit you know mm. you can just scan up and down the page we can give more detail as well so yes. we can give things that you can download things that you can copy off and things like that which is much easier to do in written format it as well. is yeah so if we've got some free templates or something that we're mm -hmm. offering then getting you to provide us with your email address via YouTube um, means you'd have to post it in the comments and then you're sharing it with the world, the world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a blog allows us to have a subscriber email le yes. list and we can send you things that um, or you can download things um, yep. but we just thought it would be a really useful resource to back up the vlog yes so we are working on it at the moment it's very nearly finished um, I'm doing it myself so yes. I apologize in advance if it looks really amateurish I'm teaching myself it's WordPress as we go <laughs> uh, it's brilliant she is literally doing it herself I've got nothing to do with it so it's really, she's so saying brilliant. fingers crossed it all works yes. and, uh, and it's all alright um, but as we said the first post that we're going to be sharing with you exactly. um, is these caftans that we've designed and this is a patternless caftan it is yes so that means that we can share it with you we're going to put a size chart up on the blog mm -hmm. and that means that you can get your sizes and and then you it will tell you what you need to cut out it's just created from rectangles so mm. you will need to cut different types of rectangles depending on your size um it's literally a rect two rectangles for the front one for the back two for the sleeves and then two for the, the belt. belt yeah um, and that's it it really is that simple yeah um but we'll insert some pictures as we talk so you can see what it looks like properly and yes. then obviously we'll put some full prancing pictures of course um, and <laughs> the our way um, <laughs> but uh, the reason it came about first of all the reason we decided to do uh, a patternless uh, make mm -hmm. is because as you know as we've already told you before we do have plans to have our own range of patterns at some point in the future oh, um, it's, like, it's like a it's like a lovely little dream it we'll is, get there it eventually is. It's, no it's a goal it's, it's a goal yeah, yeah. it's going yeah. to happen it's just yes. working towards it it's going to happen um, but we're just learning some of the logistics of actually getting our patterns into PDF format and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so in the meantime, by using patternless makes, mm -hmm. um, then you don't have anything that you, we don't have to scan anything in. We no, don't have you to, don't have to print anything off. Exactly. So that's what we're going to focus on for now until we're at a stage where we can actually um, share proper patterns with you. Yes. And so we wanted to come up with something to the launch our blog and. As some of you following Instagram might know, I'm a bit obsessed with the Vogue V9253 pattern. Really? <laughs> yes. I love this deep plunging V. Yes. And I thought, oh, I wonder. That every time I've put it on, I've thought there's an easier way to do this. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. So clearly this has less shaping. All the mm -hmm. shaping comes from the belt. Yes. Um, but I think it's a really flattering, very cool, mm. easy to wear thing to chuck on. And I yeah. think that if you made it in different fabrics it would look completely different so we got these boutiques for our dresses we and we knew I de they, they were going to be absolutely perfect for this style mm -hmm. um, and they are from Dowitis yes and Dowitis have an entire wall of boutiques yes, in they their do. warehouse I'll see if I can so, find that picture we took last year yeah. there of their boutique wall yes we bought these boutiques with the, these dresses in mind and they are a nice crisp cotton but mm -hmm. they do soften up a bit in the wash and I thought they're perfect for holidays they're perfect for chucking on and this kind of style of dress yeah. but you could use a cotton lawn 
Uh -huh. You could use something like a viscose or yes. something like that, which was more drapey. It would yeah. give you a lot of more drape. It would be lovely, actually. Yeah, you could. Um, yeah, you could use any kind of cotton foil. You could use yeah. um, even crepes or viscoses or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, you don't need any... There's no fastenings, and you don't need any stretch in the fabric to get no. this on. So it's just no. anything which is stable will be fine, which is a nice, easy one for everyone. It is, yeah. So let me explain to you a little bit about the design. So mm -hmm. it um, has a shoulder seam. Um, it has a kimono sleeve so mm -hmm. that's a flat inset sleeve which makes it very very easy to attach yeah um the pattern uh, comes with a different sleeve length so originally it was a long sleeve but bearing in mind it's very hot here at the moment we decided no. that we would go for short <laughs> sleeves so nick has just gone for a very small three inch band on hers yeah um and i've got a longer sleeve that has a little cuff on the end um but you could have a full length sleeve if you wanted mm -hmm. to um obviously it's a deep v um you can go as deep deeper you or you went shorter deeper i went a little bit deeper than you did yeah i'm not quite as brave as you um, it has side slits that come up as high as you want, so yep. they need to come up a little bit, um, at least to your calf, simply for movement, because it's mm -hmm. not very full. The reason it's not very full is because we knew we were making it from a batik, which doesn't have a lot of drape, mm -hmm. and if we'd have made it very full, then um, we would have been able to, it would have been bulky and voluminous, yes. and we didn't want that. Um, so we've slimmed it down, and the slits mean that we can actually walk in it, so yes. you do need the slits, you um, do. but how high they go is entirely up to you. So mine come quite high. Mine comes sort of mid thigh. Where did you do yours? Too? I did mine at but just mid thigh as well, yeah. probably 20 inches from the ground. Oh, I did 22. 22, but then I'm taller than you. Yes. So, <laughs> so, mine. so yes. mine is higher. But yours that's is not high. surprising. Higher and lower. <laughs> yes. Higher and lower. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you need those for movement. And then it has waist ties. Um, in fact, let me stand up so I can show you. It has waist ties. I just tied it in a knot. So let me undo it that come from the side. I've done really, really long ones on this one because mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to wrap it around the front and then back around the back and to yeah. the front again where I could tie it off. And then I still wanted to have quite a long tie hanging down. Yeah. Um, so again, you can do whatever length ties you want. Um, you can also do any thickness as well. So if you wanted them really skinny, you could do them really yeah, skinny. Yeah, if you wanted to look more like a kimono, you could do really wide ones, yes. which would be really cool. And you also don't need to attach them to the dress. You could keep it as a separate belt yeah, if absolutely. you wanted to. If you wanted more... Um, flexibility as to where you actually tied it then you can yes. leave it as a separate belt. It also looks really nice tied in the back alone you can just have a big bow hanging down at the back mm -hmm. um, because sometimes if you just want to you don't want something to define your waist sometimes you just want something that's a looser fit at the front yeah and that would be particularly good for holidays yes. and for it would also work as a great sort of beach cover-up so mm -hmm. you can chuck it on over a bikini or something mm -hmm. so a sheer fabric would be really nice too yeah. a chiffon or a georgette Ooh, yes. or something like that something yeah. crinkly a dobby or yeah. something yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that would be lovely. So it's really versatile, but we just thought it'd be a really fun, easy make to share with you. We think that you could cut and sew it um, definitely in under two hours, and if you're an experienced sewer, in under an hour. Yeah. Um, so um, the neckline is finished with bias binding, um, and uh, then there's a narrow hem on the side slits and a deep mm -hmm. hem on the um, uh, sleeve and hem at the front and the back. So yes. Nice and simple, nice nothing and simple. too tricky. And the hems at the bottom, because of the splits, you've got two straight edges, so it's really easy to hem as well, which is really nice. It's not a carve or anything like that. Yes, exactly. The size chart that we've done is from size 8 to size 18. I am going to add a couple more sizes into that, though, because it is just rectangles. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I just uh, need to, to do the calculations. Um, mm -hmm. But also, because they are quite roomy, I've made a size 14. Nikki's made, a, made a size 12. 12. Yeah. Um, but I think that you could definitely get a size 16 into this one um, and I could get into Nikki's one as yeah, a size definitely. 14 so I think that they are roomy just for, purely from the design yeah to see a loose fit so yeah you, don't you want could get, go bigger or smaller and again mm -hmm. if you had a more drapey fabric you could size up if you wanted more fabric if you wanted more folds Ooh, lots of soft folds more volume yes. yeah then you could definitely size up for that as well lovely so we can't wait to see your creations yes so you need to go to our vlog which is www thisstitchsisters.co.uk yep. and when you make your own kaftan if you would use the hashtag hashtag 
Stitch Sisters Caftan. Yes. And then we'll be able to see, and you can tag us in at Strawberry Sewing and at see She Sews Vintage to make sure that we see it. But it would be lovely. I can't wait to see everybody. I can't wait to see everybody. And more importantly, don't forget that if you don't want to miss any other tutorials from Ooh, us yes. or patterns or any other information, then when you go onto the blog, make sure on the right hand side of the page you find the little uh, button where it says send me stuff. <laughs> and put in your email address and subscribe and then any time that we've got something to share with you we will send it direct to your inbox yes fantastic we're so excited we can't wait to hear what you think so we'll leave you with our usual prancings oh, prancing <laughs> craft caftan not craftan caftan prancing <laughs> see you next see you time bye, bye.